Okay, so this is just a video showing how uh, these connectors work. Just in case we end up shipping this sled up to uh, Charlotte with this wooden cross piece disassembled just to fit it into a better, tighter box. As you can see, it sticks out probably one, two, three, four inches on each side of the sled. We need to make the box a fair bit bigger and not as solid if uh, we have to accommodate that. I'm thinking I might end up taking I might end up taking these two screws off and might get away with rotating this or I might have to take the third one off also. So Rob, I apologize to you for having to do work on Christmas Day to put toys together for Charlotte, but probably not the first time. Uh, so these just cross from the frame here and it makes an X with the intersection here. And on each side, uh, I've got uh, I think they call that a bonded washer. There's like a rubber layer I've got right up against that, just so that it doesn't have metal rubbing on metal and weakening it. Um, then I've got a lock washer in there, and then the standard nut to uh, to go there. And I've cut these screws off like that. And uh, I wish I could have gotten the uh, the better tool for that, but it doesn't seem to want to go through. So anyhow, and I've left. If I've left a fair bit sticking out, it's because I want I don't want these things coming loose and coming off easily. So I've left a fair bit on them, and it's arguably a safety hazard. I don't know how Charlotte wearing heavy winter boots is going to hurt herself on these while you know she's out playing on her sled. So I think that's, in my judgment, okay. And uh, likewise for these pieces here, there's uh, bonded washer, there's a lock washer, and then the nut. So we've got that, and uh, yeah, so you may end up having to just put these these three bolts here back in place as you put this on. So there's uh, the upside is the part that doesn't have these nuts in the bottom. I don't see the need to undo the, the rope part for that. And uh, yeah, so there's a metal round thing that goes <laughs> Excuse me. There's a metal round thing that goes in between the two pieces of wood. There's this long running piece of wood and then there's this cross piece. So there's a thick metal round disc that is in between those two things. And you put that, you'll see the track where it goes once those are disassembled. And if I do take this apart, I'll include pictures of it stripped down too. So basically you just leave that sandwiched between these two pieces. If the uh, you're working on putting this together. I'd lay it out flat. You'll see underneath this here, the round piece will be there. Put the screw through this hole, through that round thing, and out the bottom, and then you can put the uh, the lock nut and the nut on there. So, or the lock washer, the bonded washer, the lock washer, and the nut. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll try and draw, diagram that out too. But I'll put this video up on YouTube so that it looks halfway sensible for you. Okay. I've talked three minutes to explain three little nuts.